The only people yeah. in this country who are organising protests, Neil, are the people with nothing left to lose. Do you no, know what? John. No, hold on a second. Let me make the point. 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 Every conspiracy theory. Let me make the point. I'm not defending conspiracy theories. You're not defending conspiracy I'm not defending conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are conspiracy theories. They'll always exist. I'm saying the only people who are organising protests in this country are people with nothing left to lose. Do you want people to speak out reasonably against the pandemic? Dr. Martin Feely spoke out reasonably against the, uh, against the lockdown. Your government and HSE told him his position was untenable. Una McGurk, a respected barrister, spoke out against the lockdown. Your government sacked her the other day. We have a record in this country of people who want to dissent, people who want to speak out and say, actually, I think the fact that we have had the longest lockdown in Europe, longer than Greece, Poland, Germany, Estonia, Romania, and Bulgaria combined, and with more deaths than most of those countries. The fact, all those facts, people want to protest those, those things. When, when reasonable people speak out, your government sacks them. John and then McGurk. when ordinary people come out and protest, John, John your McGurk. government calls them Nazis. 50% of people between 18 and 25 in this country are unemployed. It's actually 53%. One quarter of the adult population are unemployed. None of the three of us in this studio are unemployed. None of the three of us in the studio have taken a salary cut. The people who are suffering in this pandemic, the people who take to the streets to protest, are the ones who are being called Nazis and far right for doing it. While Neil comes on tonight, and he hasn't spoken yet, so we'll give him a chance, but he comes on tonight to advocate for banning protests. While last August, his, his Taoiseach went to the European Union to advocate for the right of, for people to protest in Belarus. On the 1st of June last year, there was a Black Lives Matter protest in Dublin, attended by a government TD, and your party leader, Neil, the next day in the middle of a level five lockdown at the time, sent a tweet of solidarity saying, I stand with 